A so one and only exclusive, a dog injured, and its owners say the groomer is the person responsible. That dog had to be taken to the vet for treatment three days in a row. Local tenants Ian Margle and Davey with the exclusive. Ian. They're supposed to be cleaning up and grooming these pets. Instead, this family says they caused their dog major injuries. She's everything to me, and it's been dreadful. It's been very painful. Mo McGowan says her dog Lemon is like another child to her. Over the weekend, the three-year-old Chihuahua was being groomed by Honey Pets Mobile Grooming Service. But when Lemon was finished, McGowan says it was clear something was wrong. Her eyes were blood red shot. She also had blood coming out of her nose. They immediately took her to Leader Animal Hospital in Cooper City, where veterinarians looked her over and confirmed she had corneal ulcers, which are most commonly caused by trauma to the eye. If a a dog or a cat are otherwise healthy, um, and then all of a sudden they have these kind of signs. Yes, it is, it is possible that trauma could cause this. Sedated and prescribed multiple medications, Lemon was allowed to go home, but she was brought back in for more vet exams on Monday and Tuesday, costing the McGowans thousands of dollars. I understand the frustration of the owner because I have dogs also. We deal with, with doggies all the time, and I know this is part of the family. Gloria Arango is the owner of Honey Pets. She tells us the groomer who worked on Lemon that day has now been fired, that she plans to help pay for the dog's medical expenses, and that she's going to be retraining her groomers too. I'm here to get, to get the face, to be responsible for the issue, and to make the correction to, to, to handle the situation and doesn't happen again. This actually isn't the first time we've covered a story about Honey Pets though. In 2016, animal advocate J.C. Birch investigated these pictures of dogs who were left in cages in the Honey Pets back parking lot without even shade in the South Florida heat. Lemon was back at another specialist today, this one for her eye. They are hoping that she will be all right. They did file a police report with the Broward Sheriff's Office. They are now investigating. In Davie, I'm Ian Margle, Local 10 News.